Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is me, Apostle Esther. Uh, I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice. Yes, we shall rejoice. <clears throat> and we shall be glad in it. It is indeed a choice to rejoice. I was uh, preparing myself this morning to uh, to get out and uh, to run some errands. And I just want to share this passage out of 2 Corinthians 10, uh, verses uh, 4 through 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. And the word of the Lord says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Verse 5 Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought into the obedience of Christ. For some time now, we have been talking about our mindset, thinking on good things, thinking on the word of God, thinking on what his word is speaking to us in every area of our lives. And this morning, you know, this thought just came to me uh, from the word of the Lord is that God is blocking the hand and the plan of the enemy over in and concerning your, your life <clears throat> and my life. So the Bible says that the weapons of, of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So there comes a time in our lives as born again believers, we must engage in pulling down the strongholds. Notice I didn't say engage in the warfare or engage in the war, but our assignment through faith is to pull down every stronghold that the enemy has mounted up against us. The ability of God, the grace of God, the favor of God, the assignment of God over your life instructs us to pull down those strongholds. So that means that if the enemy erects it, if he puts it up, we have the grace of God, the ability of God, the strength of God, the might of God to pull down every stronghold. He said to cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought into the obedience of Christ. When I think on this patch of passage, I think about how the word of the Lord says that we were created in his image and in his likeness. So it is the enemy's assignment to come in and to challenge us being the image of God. Oh, that was good to me. The enemy comes in to challenge us being created in his image and in his likeness. So Paul said, as believers, we have to cast down that imagination, that false image that the enemy has put before us and every hot thing that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God, the knowingness of God, that that we know God has created us to be, what he's purposed us to go forward in. The Bible says, cast down those imaginations, every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bring, that means surrender every thought into captivity, into the thought, into the obedience of Christ, into the obedience of the word of God. God blocked the hand and the plan of the enemy that would come today to try to steal, to kill, and to destroy what God has established, what he's purposed over in and concerning our lives. Just wanted to bless you with that word on this morning that we have the grace of God. We have the strength of God, the ability of God, the might of God to pull down every stronghold that the enemy has set up, that he has erected before us. And we have the ability and the grace of God to say, nope, not today, not ever. I'm going to walk in my place of victory because I've been given power over every hand and every plan of the enemy. I want to pray with you on today. Father, I thank you for every person that is under the sound of my voice. I thank you for your word that reminds us today that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God, through the pulling down, hallelujah, of strongholds. So, oh God, we cast down down imaginations and every high thing, every high thought, every high uh, thought that comes in into our space. 
uh, we exalt that that comes to exalt themselves against the knowledge of God, and we bring into captivity every thought into the obedience of Jesus Christ, into the obedience of your word. So Father, we thank you that you have blocked the hand and the plan of the enemy and you have given us victory on today. We stand strong. We start, stand firm in that victory. We bless you, oh God, for doing great and mighty things. We thank you, Lord God, for covenant protection, covenant safety. Thank you, Lord God, for watching over our nation, watching over, Lord God, our states. We thank you, Lord God, for watching over our children, our school, our educational system, our educational department. Oh God, we plead the blood of Jesus. We cover them, Lord God, with the blood of Jesus. We cover every educational system with the word of God. Lord, we thank you that as our children go to and from school, Lord God, we cast down imaginations that try to set camp in their mind that is trying to even derail who you've created and purposed them to be. So Father, we align their thoughts with the word of God. We align, oh God, their hearts, their minds, and their souls to look to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that we serve, the God that we know um, is the one and only, the true and living God, El El Yon, the most high God, the only God. Lord God, we thank you that we bring their minds in alignment with your word on today and we stand firm that every high thing that comes to exalt itself against them as your children, oh God, we bring it down. We pull down that stronghold, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We come against false knowledge and we reveal the truth of your word in our lives over our children, oh God, that they will know that you are God and beside thee there is none other. So yes, oh God, we pull down every stronghold right now. We cast down every imagination and we are we realign their thought, their spirit, their mind, their soul to know that you are God and you are God alone. So Father, we bring into captivity every thought, every thought, God, into the obedience of Christ, into the obedience of your word and to the obedience of who you are in our lives, oh God. So we cover our children, Lord God, from kindergarten, from, from pre-K, even through college, we cover them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We block the hand and the plan of the enemy. We block that plan of the enemy where he's trying to confuse their identity, where he's trying to confuse who they are. Father, you said that we were created in your image and after your likeness. So Father, we stand on the authority of your word. We release your word in the earth realm, oh God, to the four corners of the world. Oh God, and we render the enemy powerless over our children. Lord, we bring our children back to the place of safety, to the ark of safety, oh God, to the place that they know that prayer will change things in, over, and concerning their lives. So Father, we bless you because you are God and you are God alone. You're Jehovah Shalom. You're the Lord God, our peace. So we speak peace in their minds, in their hearts, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you will bless them and grace them with the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. The peace, oh God, where you said if we keep our hearts and our minds stayed on you, oh God, that you would just endow us and grace us with that peace on today. So Father, we silence the hand and the plan of the enemy. We render the enemy powerless right now over our children, oh God, over our educational systems, oh God, over Lord God, the staff, we, the superintendents, God, we thank you, Lord God, that they understand the power of prayer. They understand the power and the authority that's been relegated to us as born again believers. And we stand firm, oh God, in that authority. We stand firm in that place, Lord God, that we have victory over our children. Yes, we snatch our children back from the hand and the plan of the enemy, oh God. We consecrate them afresh. We consecrate their minds, their hearts, and their souls, that they will know the God that we serve, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Father, we bind up every curse, every principality, every power, every spirit of wickedness, oh God. We render it helpless and powerless. You said in your word, behold, I've given unto you power over all of the works of the enemy. So Father, we thank you that we stand in agreement with your word. We stand firm in your word on today, 
O oh God, and we celebrate victory over our children. We celebrate, Lord God, that they will say that I heard the prayer and my spirit bowed to the God that I serve, the God that sits on the throne and looks down on us all on today, oh God. So Father, we do give you praise. We give you glory, oh God. We give you honor. We bless your name. I honor you. I celebrate you, Lord God, for working a work in our children, working them, oh God, moving them, sanctify them, oh God, save them, heal them, deliver them, and make them whole. That one that is so wounded and so broken, oh God, I send your love. I send your grace today, Lord God, and you bring about change. Now, Father, I bless you. I give you praise, oh God. I give you glory and I give you honor. I thank you, Lord, because your word will not return into you void, but it shall accomplish and it shall prosper in the thing whereto we sent it. Oh God, I sense that there are other believers that are saying, Apostle Esther and Apostle Chris, we agree with the word of prayer. We re agree with the word that's been released over our children on today. Lord, let it echo in the earth realm. We're taking our children back. Hallelujah. It's time, oh God, for us to declare and to decree that our children belong to you. Satan, we block your plan now. You will not have them. They will not be suicidal. They will not be confused, but they will bow to the God that we serve. Lord, you said in your word that every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So we declare that over our children, that they know that you are God. You said in your word that I am God and I I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So, Father, I thank you that you're with them in every endeavor of their lives, oh God. Now, Father, I praise you. I give you glory and I give you honor. Lord, if there's anyone listening today that is not saved, that child, that woman, that boy, that girl, that needs you as Lord and Savior, I ask that you forgive them of their sins. Wash them in your blood. Fill them with your love. Give them a heart, a mind, a will, and a desire to serve you, oh Oh God, all the days of their lives. Now, Father, you be magnified. I thank you in advance that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, hallelujah, Jesus, it is acceptable in your sight, oh God. God, you are my strength. You are my redeemer. You are my healer. You are my way maker. God, you are the one that allows me to sound this word and to echo this word in the earth realm. You allow me to carry your glory, oh God, and to declare victory in the mighty and in the matchless name of Jesus. Again, I say thank you, Lord, for blocking every plan and the hand of the enemy. We decree this day to be a day of victory in all of our lives, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, your word declares that the kingdom suffered violent, but the violent take us by force. Oh God, it's time for us to stand up and to take what we need to take by force through our faith of the word of God. Lord, and I know that prayer will change things because you are a prayer hearing and you are a prayer answering God, oh God. So I bless you, Lord. You said that we could be confident that once you heard us, that you will answer prayer. So Father, I thank you for answering this prayer on today. In the name of Jesus, yes, God, it's necessary that we get back to praying. It's necessary, God, that we get back to declaring and decreeing the authority of your word, that we understand our strategic assignment, that prayer will go where I can't go because of the authority of God, the force of God, for the dominion, authority, and power that you have relegated in the earth realm. So we send your word and we heal them in the matchless and in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Father, you be glorified. I forever give you praise. I forever give you glory. I forever give you honor. I bless your name in Jesus' matchless name. We declare that it is so. We declare that souls are saved on today, that 
that people are healed on today, that people are delivered on today, that people are set free by the authority of your word. Now, Father, be magnified. I thank you that there is a sound echoing in the earth realm that Jesus saves. Yes, Jesus saves. Hallelujah. By his power, he saves on today. Jesus, you're still saving. You're still the answer, oh God. You are still the answer for the world today. So we celebrate you for being our God. I thank you that you are my God and you sit on the throne of my heart. You are Abba Father. I bless you for it now in the mighty name of Jesus. You are Jehovah Jireh. You're the one that provides for us. You're El Shaddai. You're the one, Lord God, that meets every need, that covers every need on today. You're the double-breasted one. We can lay our weary head upon your shoulder, oh God, and you will give us rest on today. Now, Father, you be magnified. I bless you for doing great, mighty, and wonderful things. I thank you, Lord God, for your supernatural presence presence, moving through the nation, moving through the land. Father, we bless you now. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' mighty name, in his mighty name, in his matchless name. We give you praise. Amen and amen.